Hey, what's going on there, folks? It is I, Earthmaster, checking in on this Tuesday evening, December 29th, 2020, 10 24 p.m. West Coast time, and uh, for some, it's the uh, the 30th out there. But uh, either way, we're getting close to that new year, new beginnings, right? Uh, take a look here on the Earthquake 3D Globe. Shows a 4.9 earthquake out here around the Pakistan area. That's the latest quake on the globe. They did have a pretty significant earthquake out there in Croatia earlier, way earlier. 6.4 striking the region out there. Go ahead and bring up this other map and uh, chat a little bit about that activity out there. This area is known to get some pretty big quakes. I believe 1600 and something. There was uh, another major quake out here around the uh, Croatia area, but a little bit further south, uh, southwest over here. Uh, within this plate boundary so big quakes are no doubt known uh, this is the biggest quake this this year for this country as you can see the pager and whatnot uh, did you fill it reports were pretty much off the charts and the uh, shake map uh, and pager in the orange levels quite a bit of damage out there as well um, you know here's the estimated economic losses and estimated uh, fatalities there up into the orange so not the maximum level but uh, still some significant uh, depth or si significant damage there the depth of this earthquake about 10 kilometers below the surface once again the 6.4 uh, in this area of uh, Croatia I've seen some videos there on YouTube uh, uh, some, some news interviews and whatnot when that earthquake struck and uh, it's it's pretty unreal I mean 6.4 is nothing to joke about especially 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 i should say i need some sleep i'm getting a little bit tired especially at 10 kilometers right there uh let's see and definitely uh some aftershock activity taking place there following that uh 6.4 a couple four pointers there i'm sure there's many more uh but with the usgs uh only only showing 4.0 and above uh, for this area definitely uh, way more way more earthquake activity than that uh, down here to the south a little bit of activity down near Greece in the Mediterranean Sea area and there's that 4.9 uh, out there in the Pakistan uh, yeah the Pakistan area shooting around the globe here um, a lot of activity taking place here over the last 24 hours aside from that 6.4 out there uh, a lot of movement out here in the uh, northwest and also down here in the Philippines area, just south of there as well. Pretty good cluster of quakes. Of course, this could be some uh, aftershock adjustment. Or aftershock adjustment, that's right, uh, from that uh, earthquake they had there. When was it yesterday or the day before? Pretty uh, large one. Uh, the rest of the Pacific Ring of Fire, fairly quiet, except for this little 5.0 up here in the uh, Japan area north of Tokyo Kawasaki these are nice bikes um ninja bikes I should say a little bit of activity up here in the uh, Alaska Aleutian Islands area as well but uh, chatting about here the uh, chatting about this area up here in the northwest some increase in activity along the Blanco fracture zone uh, along the uh, Gorda escarpment region Gorda escarpments down here, but the Blanco fracture zone this whole area right here You can see the zigzag features here indicating the uh, the fractures of, of the uh, Pacific plate over here and the uh, Well the Juan de Fuca plate that makes up the uh, Cascadia subduction zone a lot of pressure being applied out here in this specific region I mean just look at Look at these gore, uh, these ridges down here that's been formed just due to the uh, the extreme pressure that's uh, uh, being put up here in this region. Quite amazing, but anyway, uh, yeah, it did have a 5.7 that was felt off the uh, or that took place off the coast of Oregon. Quite a few folks did report feeling it. Um, here's the uh, did you feel it reports. Uh, it's, it's kind of way out there, but definitely uh, that that size of an earthquake uh, can uh, be felt up to uh, quite a ways there, over 200 kilometers uh, as far as the distance goes um, uh, for that earthquake. And you can see the map here. 
indicating the uh, probably just some weak shaking. It looks like weak shaking. None felt. That's kind of odd. But uh, you know, ways out, ways out there. You know, you got 50 mile scale down here, probably 150 miles or so off the coast. And it looks like there was a little small. Ah, my birds are going crazy. Little small aftershock after. Um, after that 5.7 just to the south and to the west here go ahead and pop up the 2.5 or uh, all magnitudes here I don't see any more aftershock activity or increase activity along the Cascade subduction zone uh, but most of the time when we do in the lock section it's pretty big earthquakes uh, but uh, nothing going on right there at the moment some activity up there around the Seattle region as well had a three-pointer up there uh, looks like uh, there. What is that? Carnation. Hopefully, I pronounce that uh, pronounce that correctly. We have been seeing activity once again along the Seattle Fault System. Uh, a little small microquake off the fractures here, kind of just to the south, about a mile or so. Um, some more increased activity at Mount Rainier. No uh, major magnitudes to report there. Just a couple small microquakes there at the summit. And down here to the south in Oregon, pretty quiet for the most part. Low explosion out there in the uh, forest area of uh, Oregon, and really no major earthquake to uh, earthquake activity report here in California. Um, there is some microquakes in uh, Upper Twos taking place along the Creeper section of the San Andreas Fault, but uh, seems as though things may be calming down. I know there is activity out there, but a lot of this here is just. Um, your typical everyday earthquake activity out here along a spider web of faults, you know, that's being uh, crunched up against the uh, North American plate over here. Uh, so all these little fractures are just, uh, uh, you know, it's very, very, very common up here. I don't see any major type of swarming going on out there. Uh, in fact, uh, activity appears to, at, at the moment, to be at least dying down a little bit compared to uh, background average activity for aftershock activity in Nevada. Uh, same for Idaho. But, uh, you know, it's still something to watch. It seems as though activity has moved over the past, oh, three or four days or so from um, sporadic activity down south here and uh, activity up north here where I live and now kind of working its way up to the north part of the uh, North American plate and also up, up here off the coast of Oregon uh, so still uh, still kind of watching this area very closely um, Yellowstone National Park I don't believe they've had any type of uh, swarming but I always do like to check that um, there is that uh, I believe that is going to be let's see here that kind of looks like that 6.3 I struck way way earlier this morning there in the uh, 6.4, I'm sorry, Cro uh, Cro Croatia area. Uh, there is some activity here in Yellowstone that kind of looks like it could be kicking up a small little microquake swarm. There's that 6.4 again. See the P waves, S waves kicking in there. Some small microquakes popping off. Each one of these little spikes here indicating it looks like uh, some small microquake activity, but. Uh, not really showing up too much on the other stations there, so uh, also looks like a few spikes up here in the uh, excuse me Maple Creek area. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here around the globe that we can chat about. Really, not a whole lot. Movement has died down a little bit out here in the Puerto Rico area. Still some swarming um, just off the coast down there in the usual area and uh, as far as the activity in Hawaii goes still getting quite a bit of earthquake activity not a whole lot of movement around the Kilauea volcano area as far as the status of the Kilauea volcano goes um, I believe let's check the latest information there from those folks uh, looks like the orange watch is still in effect and for the latest current eruption uh, updates here, Let's see what these guys states. Right, Let's see what these guys state. 
Uh, let's see here. Lava activity is confined to the crater with lava erupting from a vent on the northwest side of the crater as of 4 a.m. This morning, the Lake Lava, Lava Lake, well, wow, almost 600 feet deep. Can you imagine that? Woo! With a narrow black ledge around it, reduced but still elevated. SO2 emissions were measured yesterday. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, here's a little interesting uh, observation there. East Rift Zone observations. Uh, monitors, these monitors indicate that the upper portion of the East Rift Zone contracted while the summit deflated. This was asso associated with magma withdrawal to feed the summit vents. There is no seismic or deformation data to indicate that magma is moving into either uh, of Kilauea's Rift Zone. So, yeah. So pretty much uh, kind of stain as it is. Uh, oh, not a whole lot of activity to report in the uh, seismic or the um, solar weather data. I'm just tired and worn out. Man, um, no storms really to report out there, it looks like. Activity appears to be on the calm side for the moment. Where space weather goes or uh, the space weather site goes. Pretty cool website to check out solar weather data sunspots have stable magnetic fields that pose little threat for strong flares so not a whole lot of um, activity popping off on the sun at the moment uh, m class flare x class flares all in the uh, way low range so all right folks i am out of here gonna try and get a little bit of sleep another big day tomorrow so uh oh yeah trimmer map real quick let's check that out about the same as what we seen yesterday right there off the uh, coast of, uh, or not the coast, but uh, right just west of Seattle, kind of where that uh, those surface quakes are taking place there. Not a whole lot of surface quaking going on in Medford area, or at least close to Medford, but uh, there is some movement downstream of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone underneath the North American plate. Uh, looks like a few tremors there. 90 epicenters to be exact. That's about the same as what we've seen yesterday, uh, roughly within the same area, as you can see there. All right, guys. Have a good night. Um, stay safe. We'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime. Peace out.